everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Orfia and today's video is a special video. It is the celebration video for my 3000 subscribers, which is huge and massive and incredible. So first of all, thank you all so, so much for being on my channel, subscribing and watching my videos. And today's video is going to be a very special video. I asked you guys what you wanted to see for my 3000 subscriber celebration and it was the God to girly transformation. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be transforming myself the way I look right now into a very girly look. And yeah, I'm super excited for it. I cannot wait for your guys' reaction. Also, this Sunday I will be doing a live stream to celebrate my 3000 subscribers. So if you're seeing this the day it airs, this Sunday live stream for my 3000 subscribers celebration. And I hope to see as many of you as I can. Um, yeah, now let's get started in removing this face and putting on another. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove my jewelry and then I'm gonna start removing my makeup. And this is gonna be very awkward. And I actually put a mirror here. This is the round thing you guys see. It's actually uh, my makeup mirror that I use most of the time. Uh, so yeah, I hope this goes well. <laughs> Let's also remove this necklace. So that's my jewelry removed. I don't have any nail polish on today, so that's handy already. Um, next thing, I think I'm gonna change up my piercing jewelry for something a little more neutral. So I'm gonna take out my stretched ear things and put in neutral colored ones. I actually have them uh, because of one of my previous jobs. So I'm just gonna quickly pull these out. Oh, this is gonna look so odd. And put these in. And the thing with flesh color tunnels is that they will never exactly match the color of your skin tone. That is uh, something that I already learned over the years. This is the closest match I could find and you can really clearly see it. Um, but at my previous job they preferred this over the black ones. Anyways, um, let's take out my septum piercing as well. And I'm also gonna be removing my nose piercing just for the sake of it since we're already here. The next thing is of course makeup and this is a very big part of my look. I am wearing false lashes so I'm quickly gonna remove those. There we go. Bye bye lashes. And then I'm gonna take some makeup remover wipes and get going. So that is most of my makeup gone right now and because I'm unable to get some of the glue residue off of my eyes with makeup remover wipes and I also have black contact lenses in, I'm gonna quickly go to the bathroom, take out my contact lenses uh, and then get back to you guys and I will also already change the top that I'm wearing. So I put on my work clothes, so something with a little bit of color and then just a nice blouse. I really don't have anything super bright and girl for all. Um, otherwise I would have put it on for this video. So I took out my lenses, I put on some normal clothes and now let's get started with some normal makeup. Um, I hope this is gonna go well and I'm putting my mirror closer because my colored contact lenses were also correction contact lenses and I can't see shit right now. So I hope this works. Um, I'm gonna start... I think I'm just gonna start with foundation and I'm just gonna use my usual foundation. This is the Catrice foundation in the color 010 light beige. I'm gonna take a setting powder and set it all as I would usually do. For contour, I'm actually just gonna use the same color I usually use. I'm just gonna make it less harsh. I'm just using a little less product, well, a lot less product than I usually would. 
I'm also, as usual, slightly gonna contour it in my nose. And I think this is enough for a neutral, normal person. The next thing is a more golden highlighter than I would usually use. This is called Echo by Notoriously Morbid. Um, usually I like to use a more bluish highlighter. It gives us really like a real glowy effect. But again, for the purpose of this look, let's just go with a slightly golden one. The only blush I currently own is actually a more purple based blush, so we're gonna make that work. And I think you put blush here, because I never wear blush. I usually hate the way blush looks, so... <sighs> this is something just for you guys. I hope I'm doing this kinda right. I sure do hope so. And then let's get started with my eyebrows. I'm already gonna kind of push my hair to the side because afterwards we will get rid of my hair. <laughs> Not really get rid, get rid, but like we will move it out of the way. Um, so I'm gonna start by filling in my eyebrows with another shade that I would usually use. Usually I would just straight go for black, but now I'm gonna use a brown shade. I'm gonna prime my eyes. And because we want to go quite far out of my usual color range, I'm gonna use a shimmery base for this. Well, actually, I have a bright pink eyeshadow shade here, so I'm gonna use this one right now just to go over my eyes again. For a change, I'm going to use a white liner pencil for my waterline. I'm going to use this very bright purple shade right now. And then I'm going to use a lighter shade to highlight. I'm just going to use a tiny bit of foundation and just clean up the edges that I made because I did go under my eye quite a bit and then outward quite a bit and I just want to clean it up. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and put on mascara. And now I'm going to use the closest shade to pink that I actually own. It is Nuked Cola by Notoriously Morbid. It is not true like pink, but it is more pink than most things I have. And I'm going to first line my lips. And I think already now I look a lot more girly, but I have a secret weapon for this look. And it is a long blonde wig that will be absolutely gorgeous on me, I have no doubt. Um, so yeah, let's try and get my hair out of the way so I can actually put on this wig. So this is the final transformation wearing the wig. I actually pinned two of these pieces backwards just to have a little bit of sight because I kept falling in my face. I know it is not the most realistic wig ever and I honestly don't care. This is just for fun to show you guys how I could possibly look like if I were 
normal. Um, yeah, this is definitely not a look that I will be wearing a lot. Uh, but for this video, it was worth it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos every week. And I promise I will not look like this ever again. So I hope you guys subscribe and I will see you very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you also so much for 3000 subscribers. It's just insane. It is so much. I never expected it, but I'm so happy we got there. Again, if you're here today, it airs this Sunday. I'm doing a live stream to celebrate my 3000 subscribers and I would love to have you there. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.